This is Wahara, the eastern Waikato. This was often considered to be the prime area of dairying in New Zealand at one stage. I've been on this farm since I was seven years old. Moved here with my parents in 1955. And now it's pleasing to also to be able to have our son involved in the operation here. He's 50-50 shear milking on the farm. 41 years ago, I built a, a cow shed that uh, is now run to the end of its life and we've decided now to invest in a new shed. We've endeavoured to make it as environmentally friendly as possible. We're incorporating a feed pad that we haven't had before and we're going to be using things like recycled green water for washing the, the feed pad. You know, I think what comes with a, a new shed, they've got the opportunity to take up some of the technology that's available so they can use the green water out of the effluent to wash the yard that goes back into the effluent system so there's a saving there. The water efficiencies around variation 6, they'll have metres on board to keep track of how much water they're using so there's an there's a opportunity for them to get far more efficient around that. We've decided to install a effluent tank rather than a pond. We couldn't really put a pond in because it was um, there's a high water table here. The beauty of it is that I don't have to do too much in the way of maintenance with it. It's uh, very simple. It just flows directly back to our pumping station. It is then dealt with with both a travelling irrigator and a tanker. The tank's 2.2 million litres and, and it's calculated on, on the number of cows, the runoff area of the feed pad plus the cow shed, even the cow shed roof. It's calculated on the round, rainfall of this area. There's also comes into it the, the soil type that we've got here. We also got to have 90 day storage. That 90 day storage means that we're not going to create runoffs, particularly in these dry conditions that we've got at the moment, it's ideal to put it on. The investment in the tank, yes, is, is huge. In the new shed, it's, a, it's a, a huge investment. So they obviously have you know, faith and trust in the new industry going forward. I think it's quite exciting to be able to um, go into a new era of, of being able to be uh, looking to the future. While sometimes we get a little bit annoyed about new regulations, they're there for a benefit, they're there for our future. We're keen farmers and we like to look after the land. We want to make it sure that our son and probably even generations after us are going to be able to enjoy it. The customers are wanting to know where their, their purchases are coming from. So if they're buying product off, off New Zealand, those customers want to know that it's come from a sustainable industry and we've got long-term views of that. We need to be seen to be good caretakers of the land. We're stepping into a new era of our farming style here. I think it's quite exciting actually. I'm probably only sorry that I won't be around to see the benefits of it.